our dear viewers and welcome to our show. Today we're going to be talking to you about nutrients that you can get from meat, fish and eggs that are actually beneficial for your brain. So a lot of times we're thinking about ways to enhance our brain function and of course many of us turn to nuts and especially walnuts for you know health benefits. But for us that actually like protein or like animal based foods, there are actually so many vitamins and minerals we can get from whether meat, fish or even eggs that actually enhances our brain function and could possibly help from our brains deteriorating later on or as we grow older. So a lot of research has been conducted on our brain functions and how we can enhance our memory and they've all linked it to these vitamins and minerals that are primarily found in these meat, fish and eggs type of foods. And so the first one we're going to be talking to you about is vitamin B12. Now vitamin B12 is essentially found in red meat. So red meat has an abundance of vitamin B12 and vitamin B12 is not a vitamin that can be found in the body. So it is an essential nutrient that you need to be getting from your food. Vegetarians should really be careful because they always tend to be lacking in this vitamin and they could develop a form of anemia because they're not getting any animal-based protein. And what research has shown is that considering or consuming higher amounts of vitamin B12 could actually enhance your memory and could possibly prevent Alzheimer's later on in life. So this vitamin is actually very essential for your brain function. It enhances the brain growth and the functionality of the brain to make sure it continues working and it doesn't really deteriorate. to keep in mind that things like Alzheimer's and other diseases could have a big genetic factor that comes into play with developing them. So if you are someone that could be predisposed to this genetic factor, then maybe you know having red meat once or twice a week could help you by getting this vitamin B12 and avoiding hopefully this disease. There are other nutrients that we can find in meat, fish and chicken as well as eggs so please stay tuned. Welcome back, our dear viewers. So like we said, vitamin B12 is an essential nutrient, but it's not the only one. Creatine is also a very essential nutrient, and I'm sure you've heard of creatine, especially with bodybuilders, because creatine is this amino acid found in proteins that does help build muscle. So it will help give muscle a bulk. And when you come to think about it, your brain is a muscle. So it does grow and it does need enhancing. And that's why you've always heard people say that you need to exercise the brain muscle. So you need to be thinking and reading and memorizing things to continuously exercise or strain that muscle for it to grow. And creatine will help enhance that muscle growth. Now creatine is only found in animal based foods, so something like meat, fish and even eggs will contain a considerable amount of creatine. Of course creatine is also created in your body within a limited amount, so you do need to consume foods that have them to boost your creatine amount in your body. And with creatine you don't really need to worry about slight overdosing or consuming too much of it because your body can filter it 
when it comes from natural sources. So if you are going to be taking creatine from supplements, you really need to be careful about the dosing and you need to make sure that it has been regulated by some government organization and that it does come in a pure form because you don't want to have any contaminants with it. But definitely consuming eggs several times a week with some fish and red meat could actually boost your creatine amounts and could actually enhance that brain muscle. Vitamin D is another really important nutrient to enhancing that brain function. And now we have two forms of vitamin D. We have vitamin D that comes from uh, plant-based foods, which is known as D2. And then we have vitamin D that comes from animal-based foods, which is known as D3. Of course, the amounts of vitamin D we get from these foods are very minimal, but vitamin D3 has been shown to enhance brain function. So memory is improved by consuming more vitamin vitamin D3 and of course like we said you can only get it from animal based foods and especially the fatty fish so something like a cod liver oil as a supplement would have enough vitamin D3 in it and so would salmon as a natural fatty fish you can get significant amount of vitamin D3 from it and that will enhance your brain function unfortunately vitamin D2 which is found in plant foods does minimal amounts of brain enhancement um, so it's not something you really want to rely on and they that vitamin d3 is completely different from the vitamin d that we do get from the sunlight but it is essential in our body and it will definitely improve your brain function we have a couple more nutrients to cover so please stay tuned back our dear viewers. So carnosine is another amino acid that we find in protein and animal protein that could actually prevent the degenerative diseases found in the brain. So it could help prevent Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease um, if you consume it in the right amount. And of course the best way to make sure you are getting it naturally without overdosing and without getting any supplements is to just consume meat, fish or chicken um, over the days. So I usually recommend that people you know have one serving or two servings of meat fish and chicken throughout the day and then to have a vegetarian serving so that they're not consuming too much of animal based protein and that's not the only substance that could enhance your brain function but so can the um, the fatty acids so omega 3s and omega 6s the DHAs and the EPAs and these really have been researched tremendously on how much they affect brain function and they enhance brain function and DHA DHA is actually a very vital substance in enhancing your brain function and now many ch ch um, children's formulas are actually enhanced with that um, substance to make sure that their brain develops better. So as you can see for overall health you really can't avoid um, certain foods and a lot of people that choose to take the vegetarian route or try to avoid meat or even chicken or fish really would be lacking in a lot of nutrients and we do urge them to get their blood tested regularly to make sure they don't have any deficiencies to make sure they don't have any anemia and to make sure that you know everything really looks good and now with animal-based proteins some people do worry that their blood cholesterol levels could go up of course moderation is key so taking everything within certain amounts is definitely very important with animal-based protein we do always advise for you to look at the palm of your hand and to use that as a guide of what your portion size should be so you don't want to be taking something greater than that of course your body will do a great job at filtering anything you don't need but you also don't want to strain your body too much because with time things could come up and you could not be um, feeling as great we hope you enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you all next time